That was so typically obvious. No one else like you, man. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you. No. Thank you very much. Greybeard. Here, wear this. No oh, shit. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lou Ball. And please tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Huh? I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> to try with him, in here. Is it true what I'm hearing? Cutting off our crystals for themselves. The most fragrant herbs fresh fresh from the grill. Get it while it's hot. Have a taste. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Made from the stoutest snowflake. Sweet 
it's a trap. They've opened the gate. Ubal was true to his word. We can make our way back to the farm. We should get going soon. Do you have water? Ah. What is it, Ubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Went to Drake's fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. So Mackie and Walut are allies, and as you've seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? <clears throat> if you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is... I've locked uh, pla Well... Drake's fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? knows how many guards, all on highest alert. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will. Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take him back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. better world, where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling this area, but 
by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then, go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale